Hello again. My name is Mark and I'm the Education Specialist here at the Environmental Nature Center. Today we are joining our California Desert Tortoise Waffle for lunch. Waffle loves to sleep in her den box, but each morning she wanders out in search of whatever new flowers might be blooming that day. Her favorite foods are the native plants that grow at the Nature Center, especially this mallow flower that you see here. She doesn't have teeth like we do. Instead, she has a beak like a bird. This allows her to eat the flowers, plants, and stems of desert plants and grind them down with ease. Because she's from the desert, she doesn't have access to fresh water very often, but she can survive without water for almost a year in the wild. This is because she gets much of the water she needs from the plants she eats, which often have their own unique adaptations for saving water themselves. Still, we do like to offer her fresh water if she needs it. Most of the time she walks right by the water, but other times, especially when she wakes up from a deep sleep, she'll drink the water for minutes at a time. During the winter time in the desert, it gets pretty cold and there's not as much food available for desert tortoises. So they, along with many other types of reptiles, will go into a deep sleep for several months at a time, almost like hibernation. When reptiles like Waffle do it, it's called brumation, actually. She usually sleeps from November to April, but changes in weather and temperature can allow her to sleep for longer or shorter periods. Because of the warmer winter we've had here at Newport Beach, Waffle awoke from her brumation actually in late February, which is pretty early for her. Waffle is full of really amazing adaptations for surviving in the hot, dry deserts of California. What sort of adaptations do the animals around you have? Whether you see a lizard doing push-ups, a roly-poly in the dirt, an ant crawling on the ground, or even your dog wagging its tail, all the animals around us have tons of adaptations that can help to survive in their habitat. Even human beings like you have great adaptations. Let us know what adaptations you've observed by leaving a comment below.